Parvati desperately wanted to marry Shiva. So she hired help, the god of Kama, Kama Deva. He's uh, the original Cupid. Usually Cupid renders you quite stupid. So, he hid behind a tree and shot a flower arrow at Shiva. The flower arrow hit him and he opened his eyes from his meditative state and this beautiful Parvati was sitting there and suddenly something stirred up within him and he felt desire for her. Then he got angry, who did this to me? And he looked, Kama was looking from behind the tree at his success. <laughs> then he said, you idiot, you disturbed my sadhana and put this desire in me. And he opened his third eye and he burnt him into ashes. You need to understand, any kind of desire, lustfulness, arises not from outside but from inside. So Shiva burnt karma into ashes, means not that he looked at somebody who was behind a tree and burnt him. When he saw desire rising within him, he opened his third eye. Third eye is an inward eye, not an outward eye. These two eyes are enough to see the world. These two eyes can grasp everything that is physical. Now you want to see something which is not physical in nature, the only way to look is inward. So if you have an eye which can look inward, that is the third eye, not an extra appendage or an opening in your forehead. Third eye is referring to an inner dimension, two eyes to see the physical. To see the non-physical, there's another eye which is an inward eye. Why are they talking about the forehead? Because that is where it is located. Agna chakra, this is the chakra between the eyebrows, which is an inward vision because it's all about turning inward.